Thank you, Kim. Southeastern Massachusetts also expecting to feel the impacts of Jose. Tonight, the mayor of New Bedford tells us that even though the storm won't hit the city, he's taking its threats very seriously. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Lasciuto joins us now live in New Bedford with more. Sheena. People are being asked to clean up their lawns and take items inside. City officials just want cleanup to be easiest for everyone, and that includes preparing your items out on the water. Double knots, tight ropes, and extra precaution found at Pope's Island Marina. All they have to do is stay tied up and ride it out. Many preparing for severe weather. A few more wraps on the Genoa. And in the whaling city, that includes protecting their most prized possessions out at sea. You don't want any flooding to happen. You don't want the boats to bang into each other. New Bedford city officials are asking people to secure their belongings outside and do their part in preparing for the potential impact of Hurricane Jose. New Bedford's uh, concerns out here in the water take a whole new dimension because of the port in New Bedford, which is the largest commercial fishing port in America and a very active place. He says no storm should be taken lightly, and this wall is here to remind people of that. The levee was built shortly after another disaster the Bay State faced. In 1954, New Bedford was devastated by, by a large hurricane, Hurricane Carol. The dock master says they've learned to prepare for the worst every day. We're used to the wind, we're used to tides, we're used to everything else, so we're, everything's pretty much on a regular basis. Nothing's a surprise. Nothing's a surprise. At the marina, people can choose to take their boats out of the water, but they say the rest is up to Mother Nature. Just weather out the storm. The city of New Bedford is delaying trash pickup by one day this week, starting on Wednesday. So if the trucks usually come then, instead they'll come on Thursday and so on. Reporting live in New Bedford, I'm Sheena Loshuto, Eyewitness News.